Hi guys, welcome back. This makeup turned out so sweet and really lovely that I thought that I would call it I'm falling in love. <laughs> so we're starting off with a foundation and this one is my current favorite one. It's from VDL and it's actually the lightest shade I have ever seen in my life. As you can see, it's even lighter than my skin and I'm pretty pale. <laughs> so I'm gonna blend it down a little to my neck as well. You might be shocked that the concealer looks a little darker than the skin, but actually this one is not that bad, so if you just blend it out, it's not noticeable. And that simple and quick base is done, then we're just gonna set it with the powder. I'm using a very thin eyebrow stick this time and that's pretty much just because it's easier to shape the brows this way. I had a very specific straight style in mind that I always do so when I draw them on I always draw the bottom line first because that is where I lag in straightness if you can call it that. And then I'm gonna gradually fill out the rest of the eyebrow and blend with the spoolie to the inner parts. I'm gonna take my Too Cool For School new um, shading palette and this one is great because you can actually adjust the colors because there are three different colors according to the color of your foundation and the color of your skin. So I'm mainly focusing the colors on the light ones because since now this foundation makes me so pale it will look too much if I choose the dark colors. I'm bringing this down on my nose and on my eyelids as well for a base color. Moving on to the actual eyeshadow, I'm going to take a little more reddish brown and just dab it all over my eyelid. I'm going to blend it more out to the outer corners of my eyes so that my eyes will be elongated. So blend, blend, blend. That's really the key when you're playing around with the little darker colors. I'm also taking a little thinner brush and bringing it down to the lower lash line. So now that we've established a good base, I'm going to take the last upper lid color and putting it on the outer corners. I'm choosing a darker brown color and this is just to make the eye socket look a little deeper as well as making the eyelashes look longer actually. I'm applying it with a smaller dense brush so that we get all the pigment we want and then I'm going to blend more out with a blending brush afterwards. As you can see, my lash line looks way longer now. To further elongate the lash line, I'm going to take a brown color of a gel eyeliner and I'm using a little thicker and actually a little more puffy brush than I would usually do. And this is just to get a softer line. I wasn't interested in something really, really, really extreme, so I chose a softer brush for a softer line. As the last part of the eyeshadow, I'm going to take a golden color and focusing that on the middle part of the lower lash line. It's gonna brighten up the eye and make you look way less tired when you remember to put glitter or a light color down on the lower lash line or on the inner corners. So lastly, finish up with mascara of your choice and the eyes are done. I'd like to say that the key of this look is definitely on the cheeks. The cheeks is what makes the look so lovely looking and um, it really looks like you're just blushing because you're kind of in love, so <laughs> I really like the idea. I'm first taking a liquid type and that is a little bit lighter and then I'm topping it off with a very vibrant orangey, coral, pinkish, I don't really know what to call this color from 3CE and I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks. Finishing up the skin with a highlighter, of course. You can't go out without the highlighter, it's really a staple part of my makeup routine.
Lastly, I wanted something that wasn't too bold so that it would take focus away from the cheeks, but I still wanted something with a little bit of color. So I chose this coral color and just dabbing it with my fingers to make the color a little more matte. And there we go, we're done! I hope you guys are having a lovely summer and you're all gonna fall in love this year. So that was enough cheesiness for now. I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>